my mom actually, shared this prayer with me this week in an email. It comes from Jill Duffield, the editor of the Presbyterian Outlook. Pray with me. Almighty God, we are weary and anxious. We are exhausted and overwhelmed. Our quarantine fatigue grows even though we want to do what is right for the sake of the most vulnerable among us. We wonder how long this season of social distancing will last. While we are eager to be together, to get back to the routines and activities we once took for granted, we do not want to endanger any of your beloved children or risk an even higher death toll. Our sorrow over our losses persists, despite our faith in your promise of a good future and abundant life. We lament missed milestones, jobs lost, loved ones sick, lives disrupted, resources stretched, essential workers heavily burdened, and far too many people dead and buried without the rituals of grief that offer us comfort. We pray, God of grace, for patience in the present moment. Give us the ability to abide in you when we feel as if we cannot abide this painful season one minute longer. We plead for wisdom. As leaders in every realm of our communal life face the complex decisions of when to ease our isolation, and how to begin to return to work and school and travel and church, grant them discernment that takes into account the least of these, the priceless value of each person and our obligation to love our neighbor as ourselves. Send your spirit to witness to your truth, to remind us of all Jesus taught, and to invite us to inextricably to you and to each other. This we ask in Christ's name, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.